Welcome to Enzotec Diagnostics demonstration of its enzymatic fluorescent assays for the rapid presumptive screening and detection of bacteria and infectious diseases. The Enzotec fluorescent assays can be performed on handheld fluorometers or tabletop fluorometers. It is important for the fluorometer to have the correct wavelength emission and excitation which is specific to each assay. Several of our assays require a low wavelength fluorometer, or 360 nanometers, and others require a high wavelength fluorometer, or 490 nanometers. Our product inserts and catalog list which fluorometer is required for each assay. The demonstration performed for this video will be conducted using a handheld fluorometer. In some instances, Results can be obtained within minutes of sample collection, but always within one work shift. Even when detecting low levels of bacteria, such as less than 10 cells, detection can still be accomplished within one work shift. The contents of the kit are one bottle of reagent A, which is the reagent that is specific for the bacteria you are testing for. For example, if you are using the kit for salmonella, the reagent A contained in the kit will detect salmonella. There is a bottle of reagent B, which is an enzyme inducer and helps trick the bacterial cell into producing more enzymes. Not all kits contain reagent B. There is one bottle of reagent C, which is a lysing agent. Some bacteria have enzymes which are intracellular. Therefore, a lysing agent is used to rupture the bacterial wall and release the enzyme. The kit also contains plastic mixing vials and small glass testing tubes. Some kits do not require the small glass testing tubes and use small plastic test vials instead. The correct contents are listed on each product insert. It is important to follow the instructions carefully as any deviation could cause an invalid result. You will need to have a pipette or a calibrated pipetter with disposable pipette tips. As an alternative, disposable transfer pipettes can be used. Always use proper techniques to avoid cross-contamination. If you will be incubating your sample, you will need to purchase the correct media which is listed in each product insert. The process is simple and the results are easily seen between the control and sample if bacteria are present. Shall we begin? Be sure and use the correct kit and product insert for the type of sample you will be testing. For instance, if you are testing water or other liquid samples, you will need to use the kit which contains the letter L for liquid in the product code. If you are testing samples such as food or cosmetics that need to be emulsified, then you will use the kit that contains the letter P for product. If you are collecting a sample that requires a swab for collection, such as when testing surfaces, then you will need to follow the product insert which contains an S for swab. For this demonstration, we will be using a liquid sample. First, collect your 100 ml sample and add 4 drops of reagent B, the enzyme inducer. Add 0.175 ml of the specified media into a plastic mixing vial and add the remaining media to the 100 ml sample. Incubate both the plastic mixing vial, which is your control, and the 100 ml sample at the specified temperature for 5 hours. Please note, if you are processing samples at the end of the day, you can leave them in the incubator overnight and continue the testing steps in the morning. After incubation, obtain one additional empty plastic mixing vial from the kit. Add three drops of reagent C, the lysing agent, to both plastic mixing vials. With a disposable pipette or pipette tip, pipette 175 microliters of the liquid sample from the 100 ml container taken from the incubator into the sample plastic mixing vial only. Wait 10 minutes. During this time, the reagent C is lysing the bacterial cells open and releasing the bacterial enzymes, which will be detected by the Enzotec fluorescent assay. After 10 minutes, add two drops of reagent A to each plastic mixing vial. Secure the cap and gently shake to mix the solutions. Incubate both mixing vials at the designated temperature for 20 minutes.
reagents. During this time, reagent A will be reacting with the bacterial enzyme if present in the sample. If the bacteria and its enzyme are present in the sample, then the substrate contained in reagent A solution will couple with the enzyme and a fluorescent tag is broken off from the substrate molecule. This fluorescent tag will be detected by the fluorometer and measured in RFU or relative fluorescent units. Now prepare two small glass testing tubes, one for the control, mark the control, and one for the sample. Using two separate disposable pipettes or two separate pipette tips, use one to pipette the control solution from the control plastic mixing bowel into the control small glass testing tube, and the other pipette to pipette the sample solution from the sample plastic mixing bowel into the sample small glass testing tube. For this particular assay, we are using the low wavelength fluorometer. Be sure your fluorometer has been turned on. Place the control small glass testing tube into the fluorometer test chamber and secure the fluorometer cap. Push the measure button at the top of the touch screen to enter the measure mode. Push the measure button on the touch screen and record the result of the control. Remove the control and place the sample small glass testing tube into the fluorometer test chamber and replace the cap. Push the measurement button on the touch screen and record the result of the sample. If the numerical difference of the sample is 500 RFU higher than the control, then the sample is positive. If the numerical difference of the sample is 500 RFU or less than the control, then the sample is negative. Return to the main screen by pushing save once and return twice before running a new sample. Thank you for watching our demonstration. Our fluorescent system is a helpful tool which can be utilized for early detection of bacteria and is easy to use. Thank you again for your kind attention.